Okay, this Euclidean geometry question that I have over here for you is the one that says, we've given you a whole bunch of information in the diagram. We want you to prove a couple of things, okay? Now, we don't generally give you numbers with these. They are expected for you to use with all of these alphabets and subscript numbers that we have over here. We just need to prove certain sides equal to each other, certain angles equal to each other, those kind of things, and we're going to be using our theorems to get them. Now, as you can see, I started scribbling on this diagram already because I was trying to think of the answers first, okay? And I'm. if you watched my previous video, you heard me say in there that we want to have a game plan first before we start writing things down. Because if you're going to just start writing things down without a plan, then you are looking for trouble, okay? So, this di uh, diagram over here, I've highlighted on here, you'll see why in a second. It says PA and PC are the tangents. I highlighted them in orange to the circle at A and C, A and C. It says AD is parallel to BC. I fold it in. There's AD, there's BC. This one and this one are parallel. And it says BD, which is this line over here, cuts the circle at B. It doesn't say that it bisects this angle. It just says that it cuts here at B. That's all. It says CB is produced to meet AP. CD produced to meet AP at F. There it is over there. Let me see that again. C oh, CB, sorry. CB produced to meet AP at F. There it is. And then it says A, B, A, C, and D, C are drawn. The first question says prove, and obviously with reasons, that A, C bisects B, A, D. Let's look at this. A, C, I filled in all the information already. A, C, this line over here, bisects B, A, D. B, A, D. So that means this whole angle here is P, A, D. It wants us, or this question wants us to see that this line cuts this and this in half. Now, let me just explain all the things that I filled in. I highlighted that these two sides are the tangents. Therefore, I know this side is equal to this side. Therefore, I know that this angle is equal to this angle, which is what I did in green. Okay. Um, I'll explain the purple in the uh, other green one here in a bit and my x in a bit okay so the question says we want to prove that this side this 4 and 3 a 4 and 3 is actually equal to a2 that's what we want to do so let's think of a game plan that's so did you see how i took the question i understood it now i'm going to go and look for it now i said okay that means i want this and this to all be green that's what i want this part must be equal to this part. Now I'm going to think, how do I figure that out? Okay, I know this angle and this angle are equal. I need to somehow prove that this one here is equal as well. If you look very carefully here with me, this side here and this side here are parallel. If they are parallel, they form a Z. Let me see the Z with me now that it's highlighted. And if it's a Z, this angle is equal to this angle and we know this angle is equal to, so let's say this again this one and this one are equal now this one and this one are equal therefore this one and this one will be equal and that's our game plan now let's write that down so we're going to say Line, no, not line, tangents. Okay, therefore, C is equal to A. So angle C1 plus angle C2. That's this angle here is equal to angle A2, uh, A3 plus A4. Angles opposite equal sides. That's what we know, right? Let's move on. We know that 
angle C1 plus C2 plus 1 is equal to A2. And the reason that we discovered this was alternate angles. AD parallel to BC. So now I connected them all. They all green. So because this is equal to this, this is equal to this, and you can see these two are the same, it, we can conclude that these two are the same. So we can say, therefore, A3 plus A4 is equal to A2, because they're equal. There's no reason for this. We just drew a conclusion based off of this stuff here. And now we can conclude, therefore, AC bisects. B, A, D. And there we go. We are done with that question. Okay. Our next part to the question says we need to prove that B1 is equal to B3. Let's go look at our diagram. They want us to say that this angle over here. Uh, highlight here. This angle over here. B1 is equal to B3. So let's figure out a plan. We can see, that, and that's why I put an X over there. It's for myself to see which ones are equal. So can you see this angle is equal to this angle? Um, if you put your fingers on this cord over here, it subtends this angle here. If you bring your fingers back and go there, it subtends this angle. Angles in same segment. Okay then we know okay i'm resuming i had to pause because i forgot my I, I lost my train of thought and forgot exactly how to prove this one but anyway here we go right we know that this b1 okay so i paused and i was coloring things in and let me explain to you what i thought okay this b1 over here i explained it is equal to this one over here because angles in the same segment but we know that this one over here is actually equal to this one over here isn't it right and we know that this one over here is equal to this one over here and as you can see this angle over here okay if you put your fingers on the tangent and the chord and you bring it to the circumference of the circle you're going to see it's equal to this one over here okay right i'm going to pause because this is a lot to process and if you look closely over here we have a cyclic quad I highlight the cyclic quad for you i feel like i'm taking a very long way around someone might be able to see this much easier and if you do that is awesome i don't know i lost my train of thought okay i see over here that this is a cyclic quad and if this is the angle on the inside it's going to equal to the exterior one on the outside which is this one here see the quad see the one exterior outside and therefore basically this x is equal to this is equal to this is equal to this is equal to that okay i feel like there's some way shorter and i'm just not seeing the shorter way but let's write down what i just said so we said b2 no b1 is equal to B, uh, A2 we know that A2 equals A3 plus A4 we've proven it previously
and there's our thing. I honestly feel like there's something so much simpler because I know I thought of it. I just forgot what it is. And I'm pretty sure someone is going to message me with something that they figured out much shorter. Okay, the next question says that we need to prove that A4 is equal, this is equal to sign, is equal to B2. A4, this one over here, just this part over here, is equal to just this part over here. Let's hope I remember this one. This, um... This over here is made between the tangent and the chord. Let me turn it upside down in case you don't see it with me. See, here's the tangent and there's the chord. This one that's highlighted in blue and together they make up this angle. So if you put your fingers on the chord until where it touches the circle, you would see it equals to this part over here. Just D1. Okay. And we need to prove that D1 is equal to P2. That's what we need to prove right now. Let's see. You see the Z with me? Let's do that again. From here, this line is parallel. This line over here. This line is parallel. So D1, uh, this was D1, is equal to P2. And D1 is equal to A4 because of the encode. Therefore, A4 is equal to P2. Let's drop that one down. So we said A4 is equal to D1, alternate angle, no, D and chord. Then we said D1 is equal to P2. Let's bring the diagram back for you. A4 equal to D1, D1 equal to P2, alternate angles. Therefore, because the D1 is common in both of us, A4 is equal to P2. There we go. I hope that this helped you so that you can see how to prove different things. Again, I'm going to repeat. You think of your game plan first. Hopefully, you don't lose track of your game plan in the test like how I lost track of mine. Okay, but you think of your game plan first, then you start writing. Okay, and you can scribble on your diagram sheet as much as you possibly want. Using highlighters really helps things, okay, especially when you want to see parallel lines and cyclic quads. It really, really does. Or if you want to color code all of your different angles that happen to be the same size, you can use highlighters for that. So please don't forget to take your highlighters with to the exam. Good luck.